One in three couples say debt is a major source of their stress, and that's why experts say communication is key to a healthy and stable financial relationship. Blair Manton with Sands & Associates is joining us now with some tips. And Blair, I find it interesting that about four in ten couples who are married or in a common law relationship also believe or thought that they brought their debt with them into that relationship. Yeah, definitely. That's a fact of life. You know, basically everybody today has at least a little bit of debt, and definitely if you're coupling up, you have to to understand a lot of people are bringing debt towards that coupling. All right, um, but how much would you take on if your partner brings in debt? Well, and that's a really key thing to understand, Sonia, is a lot of people, they take a look holistically at the whole debt of the couple and they make decisions that way, but it's really important to know there's no automatic liability. If you bring debt in, your partner doesn't become liable for that. A tax, a student loan, a credit card, they can mm -hmm. only ever collect from the person who owes the money. So be careful if you're making decisions as a couple that you don't take one person's assets to pay off the other person's debt in full. You don't have to do that. For sure. Uh, now, this is definitely a sticky topic for a lot of people, but we're going to try and break it down for you this morning. So we have some do's and don'ts. Let's start off with the do's. What should we be doing? Well, the first thing is really simple, but it's simple to say, but hard to do, is to communicate. So debt is one of the last great taboos in our society. We'll talk about just about anything else other than our debt. But if you're, as a couple, you really need to have financial transparency. So a great way to get at this is to do a shared budget. So on a monthly basis, to understand where you're spending your money and then to revisit. Did you hit the budget? Did you over? spend, underspend, and make some corrections. The other one you mentioned is um, sharing financial intimacy. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? Well, this one's interesting, and you've got to be at a certain level in the relationship, but if you really want to sh share financial transparency and intimacy, pull a credit report, each of you, and sit down and review it together. Okay. Now, first off, you can get a credit report free. So anybody in Canada is entitled to it once a year. If you go on our website, Sands Trustee, we've got a link towards it. So get your credit report and review it. You're going to see what's going on with each person, but also you're going to protect yourself from identity theft, making sure there's not inaccuracies in your credit. Just about every credit report I've seen has at least something that needs to be cleaned up on it. So it's a good thing to do as a matter of course. Interesting. And the other part is uh, really knowing where you stand with debt and, and mm -hmm. having a clear picture of that. Yeah, exactly. You really need to, to figure out, you know, what are the debt problems that each partner is facing and how they're going to be tackled. You know, if one person's got a little bit of debt and they're keeping up on it, that's fine. If the other person, you look at the statements and it's 60 years, if they just continue doing what they're doing to get out of debt, well, then they've got to consider some alternatives. And what do we want to steer clear of here? What's not, not productive in this conversation? Yeah, not productive to start blaming each other. You know, blame and shame don't solve anything. It might make one person feel better at the expense of the others, but you really need to forget about who got us into this problem you need to figure out how are you going to get out of the problem and you know getting some help together can make a lot of sense and your first tip was communication having that mm -hmm. conversation so one of your don'ts is to uh, suffer alone in silence and, yeah. and not reach out to anyone yeah don't assume you're the only person or the only couple facing financial difficulties you're not don't assume that there's no help out there there's folks that will meet with you for free to understand all your financial options once people understand they throw away the fog of I can't do anything and see that there are options to get them out of debt, they start to feel a lot better and their relationships improve as a mm -hmm. result. A perfect conversation to have ahead of Valentine's Day, right? Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Blair, thank you very much.